Hi viewers, welcome to Pen of Shorten. In this video, we are going to see a short review on Click Aristocrat Fountain Pen. And here, each pen will come along with a box like this. And the brand's name and the model's name was uh, will be sticked on this uh, box itself. So it is an Indian made one and this is from Maharashtra. And let me take this out. Here it is a white color fountain pen and especially this video is specifically taken to give the clear insight on the pen because just with photos you can't understand the full details about the pen. So here this pen has a silver trim portion and a silver clip and there is two uh, silver rings on the cap and the brand's name click was stamped in this body. and. This is a screw type mechanism, you have to unscrew uh, thread type mechanism, you have to unscrew the cap for open this and here the nib. This is number 35 nib with fine tip flex nib and if this is SSF1 and uh, as you uh, you can swap the nibs as you like since we have number 35 nibs in many brands and usually pen enthusiasts will swap with can rate nibs where you can have a fine medium and broad and again with uh, full gold dual tone and silver plated nibs in this uh, size and also flex nibs can be swapped as this is a flex nib you can use also a uh, normal rest model fountain uh, nibs also and in click itself we have the normal uh, nibs too and this is a broad grip portion like I'm going to see, uh, show the measurements here This is 10.6 here and the body is 12.6 and the total length of this pen without cap this is 130.3 mm and here With cap, this is 137.2 mm. And the total, the entire weight of this pen is 16 grams. And this is quite a normal size, medium size pen. You can handle this for a, for a very good grip portion. And also this is not highly recommended pen for the little fingers they can't hold this that much steadily and here as this goal, uh, grip portion holding diameter is a bigger this pen is more suitable for adults who have a bigger fingers and also the reservoir capacity is more we can fill more than 3 ml of inks in this and uh, also um, on pen maintenance please wash the pens regularly that is twice a month all the dye based ink will precipitate on longer usage so um, it will block the ink's passage in the feeder so you will get a scratchy writing and uh, slowly the ink will dry quickly then you may have to shake the pens for the ink flow to come out so you may experience this and uh, the reason is the blockage in the feeders group so to clean the pens deposits and dirts please remove the feeder unit and nib separately by holding this and screw this and then you can easily remove this and all the uh, cartridge converter type pens are screw type one um, and if you if it is a normal uh, only the uh, ink filling system is an uh, eyedropper then it will be uh, easy removable like you can screw and pull this out and here this is you can um, that is friction type this you can twist and open this and means you have to screw this portion or the nibs, nib unit and the feeder unit you, and then you can remove this after removing this please wash the feeder um, with uh, with the help of any brush and clean it well with soap water or in tap water if you are soaking in soap water then allow it for an hour and brush and clean and this is a simple method this will give a long run to your fountain pen and 
in some ink bottles itself you can find that it is recommended to clean the pen with water here I'm going to show that this is brill bottle and here it is given clean your pen with water before filling with brill ink yeah and so it is clear unless otherwise we have a good uh, maintenance and good cleaning method um, the flow will be affected and again on maintenance all the threads are turned to worn out so to increase the life of thread please apply silicone grease or vaseline over this portion whenever you are opening and closing the grip area during ink fill and also whenever you fill the ink fill below the inner threads of this barrel so if you fill in excess the leakage path will create it and you will spoil your ants and few nibs need to be fine tuned because during manual assembly of nibs the the nibs may the tines may stick together so to solve that so gently push this tines like this up and down do this for two to three times like then you will get a, a space in the in this uh, between in between the tines so it this will allows for a good ink flow and in turn you will get a smooth writing and please make sure both tines are in parallel if not you will get a scratchy writing and whenever we dispatch the pens to our customer we do this fine tuning and then we check and before uh, check before dispatch this is our usual practice and here i'm going to give the writing sample for that i'm using our pen house emerald green ink The writing is so smooth. Yeah, the writing is so smooth. And also this is a flex pen. I'm going to flex write. Show the flex writing. If you fill the ink properly in the barrel, you will get a very good ink flow. And another another thing if you want a, uh, a very good flex video, you can refer in our site itself and also in our youtube channel yeah if you have any query about this pen you can ask in the comment section or else you can make a call to our mobile number thanks for watching this video thank you